Buenos dias. Good morning. Uh, my name is Scott Wormy. I'm an agent here in the Lake Chapala area. And I'm about to do a uh, video on a beautiful property that's on the market now called Casa Dulce. It is in Chapala and it is an incredible location. It is located uh, a block from the Malecon, which is just down the street there. So Lake Chapala is just uh, a block away with all the restaurants and shops. Um, and it's uh, one block from the main street, again, for all your shopping and your amenities. So I'm gonna try to do this video some justice. This is an incredible property. This property is priced at 760,000 US dollars. I'm gonna get off the street here because we're in the middle of uh, Chapala here. So first thing I want to show you is this incredible art piece. This is, uh, I'm going to back up here because there's a car behind me. This is done by uh, one of a prominent artists here in the Lake Chapala area. His name is Jose Vega, um, Lop or Lopez Vega. Jose Lopez Vega is his name. And uh, I am, uh, have a small piece of his, but this is a beautiful mural that was commissioned by the owners of this property. So this property has four two bedroom, one bathroom uh, rental properties in it. So there, give you an idea of the scale of this property. Um, it's absolutely massive. On the listing it says that it is uh, 6,500 square feet, when in actuality, uh, the owners say that it's over 12,000 uh, square feet. So there's an idea of some of the uh, property here with the mature vegetation. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's Thomas. I know him from Chula Vista. He's, a, he's actually uh, my neighbor, and he was instrumental in help design the, which aircraft? Concorde. The Concorde. And he's actually my neighbor. Back so in 1962. Very cool. So good to see him here. I'm doing a video on a home that's for sale here in the area. Enjoy your day, Tom. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the other side here uh, just to get an idea of the scale of the property as well. So again, uh, that's more of the uh, size of the property. So again, Four two-bedroom, one-bathroom apartments. Each apartment has its own entrance. Each apartment has its own electric meter. So these can be rented out. So the couple who own this property bought it, I think, 13 or 17 years ago. Uh, and they've done a tremendous amount of work to the property. So I'm going to start by going into like a central courtyard here. So this is at the front of the property again. Mature vegetation, mature bougainvilleas. Uh, some of the artwork is wonderful. Um, just give you an example of some of the art pieces that are here. Mature landscaping that I absolutely love. So a quiet place for guests, or if there's four uh, tenants here, they could come here to this uh, kind of a central area here uh, to visit and talk. Again, I'm going to show you some of the, you know, some of the Talavera murals that's on this courtyard here, and then another piece of artwork. I think that's absolutely fabulous. So this is. Um, the lower level, and again, this would be like a meeting place, I think, for everyone. If they were renting, this could become a hotel. This could become a bed and breakfast. This uh, can be an Airbnb if you want. And again, there's the scale. And this is also kind of a neat feature. They have a little, this is how the owners get their groceries up to the top level. So anyway, start with that. Start with the uh, lower level here just to get an idea. So again, we have an excellent location uh, right in the heart of Chapala. Perfect for people who are coming for, again, if you wanted to rent out these apartments, you could. Or you could have it again as a Airbnb or a bed and breakfast. 
So I'm going to take you into the first unit. Um, so the owners also tell me that these were renting at for $800 U.S. a month. Um, and she was underpricing uh, the units because she wanted to keep good tenants. Uh, so she kept the property, um, gave them kind of a discount. But I think uh, if you upgraded the property... Or leave it as it is. But if you upgraded the property, I think your rental value uh, would go up. So again, each unit has its own little patio area. This one is unfurnished. It used to be furnished. But the owners um, had a tenant who wanted their own furniture. So uh, they removed the furniture. Again, some more of those mature palms on the, pro on the property. So this is the first unit. You know, these floors are original to the house. I think the house is over 100 years old. So this would be your first rental property. Uh, ceiling fans, beautiful uh, light fixture there. And these, this is a two-bedroom, one-bathroom. The entire house has new electric and it has new water. Um, and if you can see here, they have some arches. And she's put some new doors in. But those doors can be easily removed. So this was one large uh, room, and it's been uh, subdivided into two. But again, those beautiful older Mexican tiles. So this unit would have a view out to the central courtyard patio area, which is quite nice. Again, this was a wall that was connected to the two, so you could open this up if you chose to and make it a great room. Tons of possibilities with this uh, property. Um, so I thought I'd give you an idea. And then all of the lower units are wheelchair accessible. Um, so um, the owner wanted me to point that out. Again, this is the second room. Again, you could open that up and you could make it one large Room. This one has a fireplace. And the owner, and then they've added this closet. So this is the first of four rental properties. Right now she has two rental properties that are filled. I'm unable to uh, film them because of, out of respect for privacy uh, of the tenants. And then there's a little courtyard off the kitchen area, which is quite nice for the guests. So a simple kitchen here. Nice Mexican uh, details for, uh, for tile. And then again, every unit has in-suite washer and dryer. So again, beautiful Talavera tile shower area here. You have your hand-painted uh, Talavera sink. And again, you can see the new plumbing that they put in, so you can put your washer and dryer in here for this particular unit, and then a toilet area. Um, the owners also have a communal washer and dryer, uh, so that if someone was renting this and they didn't want to put in their own washer or dryer, couldn't afford it, they could use the communi uh, community washer and dryer. So again, you could probably rent this out for a heck of a lot more than $800, especially given the location. Um, again, or this would make an incredible long-term rental property or a hotel. So that is the first unit. I'm going to take you upstairs to the second floor of a unit. It's empty, but it's furnished to give you an idea of what these look like. And again, I'll go back onto the street here so you get an idea. You know, they have the stained glass up there. And the palm trees, just beautiful. So this property goes all the way to the pink and purple there. So each has its own separate entrance, as I mentioned. And again, I mentioned, you know, the property is listed at 6,500 square feet. But the owners have been here and they've done some remodeling and they've actually added the third floor where they live. So all that was work was done while... Give you another view of some of the apartments. That's one of the apartments there. It has a beautiful patio area, and a gentleman lives there, so I will not disturb him. Um, but anyway, they added this entire third floor. So I don't think this has been um, 
the government has come to appraise it or to look at the construction that has been done. So they probably think it's 6,500 when in actuality it's uh, larger. So again, that's the neighbor's property there. He's got a balcony that's cute as a button. And then upstairs, it has a, the kitchen's up there. So beautiful details. The owner has painted this uh, a variety of colors just for that Mexican charm. Just some neat pieces. So this is going to be an upstairs, uh, again, a second two-bedroom, one-bathroom uh, unit. And again, you'd walk in to your own private patio space. And I guess the police station is next door. So if you're worried about security or safety in Mexico, you will not have to worry about with this property. And across the uh, corner here is a little park area. So very, very neat location. Again, I can't emphasize the, how great this location is. So we have a patio here. And then we walk into this second uh, apartment. And I just love... The owner, you know, she does quilting, she does painting. So I just love uh, the colors here. You know, this is true Mexico. Um, so I love what she's done. So you walk into a sitting area here. She says the furniture stays. There are some very special pieces that she will be keeping. Um, but again, that can be negotiable. So a uh, little sitting area here. And your little kitchen. Beautiful again, the Talavera accents to me speak, you know, speak Mexico. Um, then the bathroom for this unit. Again, I love the variety of colors of the Talavera tile. To me, you know, I, I just love all the different colors. Uh, windows are original to the house, and again, they're um, wrought iron, so... Um, very, very high quality. Just give you an idea of that bathroom. Even the, you know, I even love the door, hand, you know, the door hardware. Those are, you know, those are older, but still functional and beautiful. And then we have two bedrooms. So I'm going to take you to the bedrooms. So again, each unit is self-contained. Each bedroom, each unit has two bedrooms and one bathroom. Again, you could have four you could have four tenants if you wanted to collect your rent and then live upstairs. So this is uh, one of the bedrooms here. Just have an idea. I love the uh, red brick lentils here over the windows. Pretty cool. So that's one of the bedrooms here. And then we go into a second bedroom. So this could be a, sec a, a second bedroom. This could be a, a living and a second living space. This could be an office, but a, a great, it's got a closet in here. It's got ceiling fans. But I love about it, again, you know, some of the details are, I, I just told her I loved this uh, lamp. I thought it was pretty cool. She's got some incredible pieces here. So again, this is your second bedroom. We're on the second floor now. And again, beautiful. it's, it's beautiful, uh, breezy here right now. So this second bedroom also has a little patio area. So you would come out to your patio area here and you'd get an idea of your views. Some mature palms here. Just stunning in my mind. And it's a wraparound patio, so you can wrap around here. Oh, this is a good uh, way to get an idea more of what's so down here is where I showed you first one of the first floor units. And then there were stairs that I took you up to get you to this apartment on here on the right where we are now. And then to the left is another apartment. So this separate entrance, there's a separate entrance for this apartment, a separate entrance for the other apartment over there. Just so you have an idea. And then here, uh, the owners actually bought this building and converted this to... Uh, a co-op. I mean, it's it's now owned by three ladies, and they run a co-op out of here. So they were instrumental in getting this building uh, to where it is now. Beautiful artwork here. Um, so that's your neighborhood. You have co-op housing here, which is wonderful. You have like a park-like setting here. 
which I think is pretty neat. And then you have the police station right next door. So you uh, safety, if safety is a concern, you do not have to worry with this location. Again, here's your wrap around uh, patio here. So plenty of plenty of light in this unit. So uh, again, there are two units that I couldn't show you because they're being rented. Then I showed you the empty one. Um, and again, the owners have that furniture. It's in storage and it can go down. So that one could be furnished as well. Or you can do what you want uh, with each unit and make it your own. Plenty of possibilities. Again, this is listed at 760 thousand US dollars. So now I'm going to take you up to um, the third floor and that's where the owners are. Um, so they have a wonderful, that used to be the third floor and it used to be open, but now it is, um, now it's been enclosed and now it's the owner's uh, property. There's another separate entrance here. I took you up one stairwell and this, if you go down this stairwell, that'll take you to the front patio area where I began, kind of a community area where people can sit and have a cup of coffee or a cold cerveza. Um, and just, it's a good meeting spot. So this, she's added this just to some storage with some mirror doors, which I think is fabulous. And then another detail here, here's another beautiful um, Cantera stone carving. So there's some incredible um, architectural details in this property. You know, again, the original lintels. And the owner tells me this uh, property is built of concrete. So it's stand the test of time. And like I said, new electric, um, new plumbing. So uh, they've done all the hard work. Again, here's another uh, uh, neat architectural touch. These are all these Talavera tiles I think are cool. Just different colors, but it works well. Um, so again, let me go back. So here... There's the other a stairwell, a second stairwell that um, got you to this unit, but it also gets you to uh, the owner's suite, owner's uh, unit upstairs. And she has some incredible furniture, some incredible design ideas. Uh, I just think it's a, overall is a fabulous property. And again, some more of the views here. And then there is a, I believe it's a hotel uh, on the Chapala Malacone, and that's what the top of that building is. So great location, as I mentioned. So we'll go up the stairs. Again, I love her. I love the Talavera uh, tile that she has here. So this is uh, the owners. This is where they live. And um, I am just amazed at some of the design details and some of the furniture pieces that she has. Again, another Cantera stone piece that she's collected over the years. So now we're in the owner's unit. And there's Bob there in the corner. He's in the office here. Oh, I'm just saying hi. I'm filming. I'm just filming the video, Bob. So this is where the owners live. And this is just a stunning, just a beautiful uh, unit where they live. Some of the pieces are absolutely amazing. So again, this used to be open air, but they um, enclosed it. And this is where they live. So if you had an Airbnb, if you had a hotel, um, you, this is where you would stay. You'd get your privacy, have your private entrance. You could have your four tenants. You could turn this into a high-end bed and breakfast or a high-end rental. A beautiful tin uh, light. It was beautiful. They have, they made their own barn door here uh, for their entranceway. And some of her art pieces are absolutely incredible. Um, so she has a great eye for design. You know, here's an example of one of her art pieces there, I think is beautiful. So their unit also has its own private patio area. And this one is just as nice with beautiful vegetation here. And again, a view of those that co op there next door, just so you get an idea of the views. Beautiful vegetation all around. So that's their patio here. And again, there again, some of her pieces will be state will be she's going to be taking. I love this aluminum coffee table, but she says she's taking it. Um, but again, I love the colors. This is uh, Mexico at its purest. 
So there's a little living room area there. Again, I'll just say hi to Bob. Bob's in his office now. So he has an office here with, again, beautiful windows here. And they even have a nice fireplace that they've added here. Again, some beautiful artwork here. Just to get an idea of how spectacular the property is. And again, we're on the third floor now. So they have uh, some pretty neat views of Mexico. So the block that way is going to be the main road where, um, again, a lot of restaurants are, a lot of government buildings, but you're within walking distance of everything uh, that Chapala has to offer. And it's also a quick little bus ride to take you into Ajijic. Again, a beautiful office area. Um, the owner does some quilting, uh, so some of her pieces are here. So this is, uh, again, the living room. I just love uh, the array of colors here with some kind of some mirrored glass there. So that's pretty, pretty nice. And they've done the red clay uh, tile here. So this is, again, where you would live uh, if you decided to wanted your own privacy. This is kind of her bathroom sanctuary. Again, I think it's incredible what she's done. Some of the blues, uh, Talavera tiles, and some of these uh, hand-blown glass lights are from Tonala. Beautiful pieces. So again, she has um, some really neat pieces. Nice hand-painted Talavera sink there. And then she also has, um, again, another art piece here. A little arch for her shower area with a beautiful Cantera cherub, which I love. Um, I'd love to take half of these pieces home with me. And again, a beautiful, large walk-in shower with a bench. Again, beautiful Talavera tile here. So that's the bathroom. And then the size of this Katrina. Holy smokes. An amazing piece. An amazing piece. She's been collecting pieces uh, and treasures for many, many years. Um, and I just love her decor. Again, she says she's going to take some of the art pieces, but that is all negotiable. Just a simple kitchen here. Again, the Talavera and the vaulted ceilings are pretty amazing, I think. Then she has her craft room. So again, she's a quilter. So my wife loves to quilt, so she would be very, very jealous of this room. Absolutely amazing. Stained glass she got done. Again, a beautiful wood-carved cherub here. But this is an example of uh, some of her work pieces. And again, my wife would be here uh, spending hours and hours. And it opens up onto the living room there. And it also opens up to the office. Kind of an open design concept for up upstairs here. Then we're going to go back uh, through the kitchen. And there are two bedrooms back here. Again, another beautiful art piece. So there's two bedrooms. This is going to be the spare bedroom here. Again, with some beautiful views, an arched window here. So vistas of Chapala. And again, this, this is just cozy. The flooring is beautiful. I love uh, the variety and myriad of colors that she has here. I wouldn't change a thing. I'd probably add more color. The bedspread's incredible. So this is your uh, first bedroom. Ample size, plenty of uh, natural sunlight here, arched windows. It has a ceiling fan. Um, and again, uh, simple bathroom. I love this too. They took an old uh, Corona table, Cerveza table, and they just covered up some of the exposed plumbing. But I just think it's absolutely darling. Again, the Talavera tile in the bathroom. Nice Oaxacan mermaid carving. Beautiful. And like some of the details. I just love these little clowns. And then, again, out your window. Probably can't see it that well, but there's a, a church uh, steeple there. And then, here's your first, again, your first bedroom for your master suite house. This beautiful Talavera tile. Absolutely stunning. Again, it has a bench to sit down when you're showering. You know, she's got little spots of color. 
for her towel, for, you know, for, and she's got her your little toiletries and your towels. So just quaint as can be. So that's the first of two. And I'm going to kind of go down here. So this gives you an idea again of rooftop there. And then that orange apartment, that's one of the first furnished apartments I took you to on the second floor. And it gives you an idea of, uh, again, a park-like setting right next door. So I'm going to take you to the final bedroom. It's also kind of neat. It's got a, a Canterra doorstop. So she has an incredible, again, eye for detail for design. Again, beautiful views. So it's a large property, but pl but plenty of um, privacy for all the tenants. It'd be the perfect place to again, Airbnb, hotel, bed and breakfast, incredible location. So this is their master bedroom, which I just love. Some again, some of the design details uh, are incredible to me. Uh, her mix of colors and her mix of materials are are amazing. That's a neat piece there. Ceiling fan in this unit, this bedroom has uh, she's put it. They put a mini split. I've alluded in other videos that you can add solar, and if you added solar panels to the roof of this property, where your your electric bill would be around, I'm guessing at most sixty pesos for two months. So you could, you know, again, if you wanted to have this as a rental property, you could have everything. There, there are four meters. You know, so each tenant can pay their own electricity. But if you wanted to do solar um, and just have the whole the whole uh, property be uh, solar paneled electricity, then you can, again, capitalize on your rental income. And it's more money in your pocket if you chose to make this uh, a bed and breakfast. So quite an extensive video. I uh, hope I've done the property justice. I just think it's a stunning property. It's called Casa Dulce. It's in the heart of Chapala. It's uh, a block from Lake Chapala and, um, and the Malecon. Everything that Chapala has to offer is here. So I think this is an incredible property, and I think at a more than a fair price point. I will leave my contact information for myself. Um, if you want to get in touch with me and you want to take a look at this property further, or are you interested in uh, buying another property or selling your property in the Lake Chapala uh, area, please feel free to reach out. So I'll end this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I think, again, it's a spectacular property. And what I always say at the end of my videos is the weather is here. Oh, sorry, the weather is beautiful. I wish you were here. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. Again, it's an amazing property. Uh, feel free to reach out uh, with any questions.